students today you will be learning about the different types of input devices so what are those input devices input devices are those devices through which the data is fed into the computer as the computer follows the principle of input process and output so it needs some devices through which the input can be given Some commonly used input devices are at first we have the keyboard, then the mouse, the scanner, the touch screen, the light pane, the webcam, barcode reader, the optical mark reader and the optical character reader. Let's start with the keyboard. The keyboard is one of the main input devices of a computer. The shape of a keyboard is just like a rectangular board and it is made up of a plastic material or a fiber. Typically, keyboard consists of 102 keys. Nowadays, uh, it has come up with more number of keys. Those keyboards are the specialized type of keyboards available in the market and the user can give the input by just pressing the appropriate keys on the keyboard or some appropriate key combinations from the keyboard and this input is then fed into the computer the keyboard is connected to the central processing unit or the CPU through the help of a certain port the keys in the keyboard may consist of alphabets or some numeric digits, some function keys and also some special keys. The figure shows a keyboard with 102 keys. The second input device is the mouse. The mouse is a pointing input device. Now why is this mouse known as a pointing input device? This is because whenever you operate the mouse to give instructions to the computer, you will see a cursor like thing in the shape of an arrow to select certain graphical icons in the computer screen. That's why the mouse is known as a pointing input device. This mouse can be used with the graphical user interfaces only. That means it cannot be used with text based interfaces. A graphical user interface means an interface consisting of only graphical materials. Common examples of a graphical user interface is the Windows operating system or the Linux graphical user interface operating system. A mouse can be classified based on the number of buttons. If it is classified based on the number of buttons, it can be a two button mouse or a three button mouse. Again, the mouse can also be classified on the basis of technology. In that case, a mouse can be classified as a mechanical mouse or an optical mouse. In both these cases, that is mechanical mouse or the optical mouse, the middle button is the scroll button. But the only difference between the mechanical mouse and the optical mouse is that the mechanical mouse do not emit light whereas the optical mouse emits light. Just like the keyboard which is connected to the central processing unit, the mouse can also be connected to the central processing unit through some ports. The figure shows a mechanical mouse and an optical mouse. You can clearly see the difference between the mechanical mouse and the optical mouse. The mechanical mouse does not emit light whereas the optical mouse is emitting some light. The next type of input device is the scanner. The scanner is used to feed the graphical or the text input 
directly from a paper to a computer. That means, say for example, you have a paper and something is written on it. Now, if you want the content written on the paper to appear on the computer screen, you need the help of a scanner. In that case, the scanner is going to capture the image from your paper and then it is going to display it on your computer screen. There are two types of scanners, the flatbed scanner and the roller feed scanner. The figure shows a scanner and a photo. The photo has been placed inside the scanner and the scanner is going to capture the image of the photo and it is going to display it on the computer screen. The next input device is the touch screen. A user can give input to the system by just touching the options available on the touch screen through fingerprints. An ATM machine is a common example of a touch screen. Users can deposit cash as well as withdraw cash from an ATM machine by just touching the options available on the touch screen of an ATM machine. Not only computers, a mobile phone is also capable of taking input through touch screens. The figure shows a touch screen tablet and the user is using his fingerprints to select and open certain apps in the tablet. The next input device is a light pane. A light pane is a pointing device that can be used to select an option by simply pointing at it or drawing figures directly on the screen. That means you can use a light pane to draw figures directly on the screen and also you can select some particular options on the screen by directly pointing at it. That's why a light pane is useful in many computer based applications. A person can use a light pane to use a computer while giving a presentation. The figure shows a user using a light pane to activate certain options on the computer screen. The next input device is the webcam. The webcam is simply a digital camera. So with the help of this digital camera, you can capture live images of the person and the objects around it and send them to the computer for further processing. Nowadays, all video chatting, the video conferences are organized through this webcam. The figure shows a webcam through which a user can video chat with people across the globe. 